another one. Today we uh, talked about uh, Harrison Wyatt uh, again. Literally, the number of times I can uh, say, uh, like, uh, talk about this uh, guy uh, who is very problematic and he is a uh, targeter, uh, slander, extremist behavior showing. Now, yeah. I could probably beat uh, DJ Khaled and uh, saying uh, another one. So, anyways, like, uh, you know, he's known as a uh, Milo Pony Time Five hater. Turns out he's actually secret like secretly likes it, and yeah, he's afraid to admit it to uh, the extremist hate group about it. Yep, we got him. So he, uh, ever since uh, Gen 5 came out uh, in September 2021, uh, yeah, and there's mixed reactions. Uh, Harrison White has uh, been having, like, been flipping out. Uh, And targeting and slandering people in multiple groups, uh, which got him kicked out out of all of these. I also kicked him out for uh, some out of some groups that I manage, uh, because of course, that's uh, literally uh, targeting, or slandering, harassing people online, and also that's uh, with the comments and uh, posts. Uh, that is like basically cyberbullying. Yet, uh, even though, like, uh, he made, said, I apologize for my action, he then he said it again, I apologize for my action, I do it, and he does it again, and again, and again, and again, and again, back and forth, back and forth. Yet, he, there's one thing that he always uses as an excuse to try to cover up his actions, and he says he is autistic. So, autism, mental health disorder. So, a person who is off, on, autistic, of course, off that spectrum, uh, uh, they uh, don't uh, function uh, regularly compared to a uh, regular uh, person uh, would. Uh, just um, they uh, show uh, different uh, behaviors, uh, and you know. so as a. Uh, Former NASA scientist, former Apple uh, staff member, science enthusiast, and uh, hater of uh, scammers in India, and he's uh, been working with people like Jim Browning and uh, Trilogy Media, Scammer Payback, and uh, some other people uh, who uh, also uh, counter uh, scammers, uh, uh, Indian scammers to be specific. And also the 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 money mules and the uh, supervisors. Mark Rober, yeah, the guy. He has a son who is autistic. So his uh, son, uh, he has like a uh, the characteristics that. So if uh, so, there's like some regular things that happen during like that every single day, and if. It's sort of, if it's like sort of different, uh, like it's irregular, and it's starting to sort of have like a little problem about it, uh, as he explains. Uh, but he also explains uh, that uh, people who ha have autism could also be uh, better at some things, they could be smarter at some things, and uh, yeah, compared to a person who is not autistic at all. So, yeah. So they can be uh, pretty uh, much geniuses at uh, some things uh, that some people uh, will still think uh, autism is like a dis will, uh, they will see it as a disability like Down syndrome. Which really it uh, doesn't really is similar to uh, Down syndrome but yeah. But some people uh, 
think uh, of it as a disadvantage, but it can be an advantage. So people who are autistic, they could be like really uh, smart at things. Uh, and, uh, no, and people really uh, underestimate uh, these uh, people who are like, yeah, autistic uh, when it comes to certain fields. And they do not bully people. And also another person, uh, I met this person in seventh grade, uh, middle school. Guy's name is Austin Park. White guy. He yeah, sort of does uh, that cadet thing, uh, yeah. Yeah, I've been really close with them. I, I was one of them friendly. I was really like friendly with the tour of them. Yeah, we were friends. Uh, yeah, we ate lunch together uh, at the cafeteria and talked to each other. Uh, though uh, we sort of went distance uh, because you know other stuff happens uh, and that, that happens like like side stuff and. You know, and we don't really talk much uh, these days, but yeah, occasionally we send each other messages. So he's always been a nice guy. So he, re so like nearly uh, two years after, uh, um, uh, my uh, extra year, uh, yeah, he uh, told me that he is aut autistic. So he really didn't uh, show the that he is uh, autistic. He re he had. Uh, Hidden it from uh, other people uh, at school, so I um, understand because uh, people would look at him different. Uh, I mean, he was in the same classes as everyone else. He was not in the this uh, special class uh, for uh, pe people who are like uh, you know, sort of yeah. They have a learning disability, or uh, or they have like maybe they have like Down syndrome or. Uh, OCD or some other some other problem that they can't really function well and uh, you know, compared to uh, a regular person would so yeah he was not in that uh, he was just in a regular class like uh, that stuff so he goes out to the gym regularly he's uh, fit he is uh, in a relationship with uh, some of my, someone uh, who is a former classmate of uh, mine and uh, back in Catholic elementary school yeah they will start sending me messages uh, sometimes. Uh, and then we also uh, give each other health tips on what we're doing. You know, and uh, you know, also very supportive. Uh, and even a regular person with autism uh, can do that. And, and really show that they are not actually bad people. Yet, with the Harrison White situation, He is uh, unfortunately using his uh, mental health disorder as an excuse uh, to uh, make him look innocent uh, and uh, and a regular person uh, who is like um, aut autistic. Uh, no, they don't do that. So it's just because he just doesn't like something and he wants you to get this thing cancelled as they originally said this thing like yeah. So it's like the autism playing a role in this. Uh, it's just uh, it's just his uh, feelings. Uh, it's nothing about uh, his uh, mental health. Uh, nothing about that spectrum. It's just, just his personality. You know. He, he thinks he is the one in the right, and no. There are actually so many other people who are, who are autistic and they don't uh, flip out and and go extremist. Uh, and autistic people do not show extremist behavior. It's just uh, personality or it's just like a learned behavior, not, uh, yeah. and it has nothing to do with your mental health. So 
yeah. If you're like actually a fan of like that guy, like Harrison White, the uh, channel owner of uh, Thomas and E.G. Uh, Coupled and Ships 19, yeah, he's a liar. He's using uh, autism as an excuse. Which is uh, not a good thing. And you should never use uh, mental health as an excuse to attack someone. Now he may say uh, online that I'm t I'm the one harassing him, and Xander Bird will also tell you this again too. But they're the ones attacking people first. I'm just encountering them, defending people, and sometimes uh, desperate times cut through desperate measures. Expose them. Of their uh, negative behaviors. Don't fall for the smoke and mirrors.